Hi, I'm Bill Hawthorne. I'm the Body Build Team Lead. I've worked for PRS for 27 years, and today we're going to take a look at the Body Build and CNC area. So here we are in the Body Build Acclimation area, where we store the backs and the tops of different sizes and different grades. Here Ian is picking tops from the West Coast Artist Pile, which is the orange. If you see the blue up above, that's the East Coast and he's picking and making sure the matches are, are put together well. And these are our S2 tops. You might notice they are thinner than the core tops. And those are all put together right alongside the core every day. So he will bring these tops in the room to be joined later. So at this point, we will bring the wood in and we'll check it and approve how the match looks. We want to put them together the most beautiful they can be. And here we're joining the top. You want to make sure that your glue joints are nice and tight and very consistent. And you will check that and make sure there's no gaps or any cracks or anything of that sort. And here you will match up the curl to make it the most beautiful it can be. And you will pencil that in for when it goes to the glue table so they get it just right. So this is a process that I've done myself for over 20 years. And it takes a long time to get really good at it. And as you can see with this S2 top, it gets the same amount of attention, the same process as all the core. And again, you want to make sure your glue lines are nice and tight and that you set the curl up to match. So after joining, it goes over to the glue up table where we use a wood glue that reacts to the radio frequency and sets up rather quickly. Here he runs an even bead of glue along one board and he will make sure to butter both sides of that. After cleaning the board, he will give it three three second blasts of the RF which sets up the glue and he will do this on both sides of the board. And now the other side. I tell people when training to be careful with this, it's like a handheld microwave. From this point he will put it on a cart and it will sit overnight before milling the next day. And here he does an S2 top. Same process. So after glue up, all the core and S2 tops will set on these carts overnight and be milled in the morning. Okay, here we go. Evan is feeding these into the double-sided planer. He will take a light pass off of each side. Mike will also check and make sure that the glue lines are good and all the sizes are right. And after they're milled, from here Evan will take them and we'll move on to the next stage. So here in the supermarket, Ian will be picking tops and backs. Uh, Ian has a, a order file to pick from. It tells him what model to make, what the colors are, what the grades are. And he will be able to judge the wood by the order that he has to fill. He will attach work order numbers to the appropriate pieces and stage them up to be built the next day. Here Ian is checking to make sure that this 10 top is, is the right grade and it will work for the color that he's trying to make. Ian will use this template to make sure he can avoid any imperfections in the top and like the back he will assign a work order number to the top as well. He'll also write the work order number on the board in case the sticker is misplaced or lost. So these orders will all be stacked up for the next day's build. So here we are with Malik at the drill jig station and he will take the appropriate jig. He will hook the air nozzle up so it will keep the jig in place as he traces and drills the location holes for the CNC. 
These location holes that he's drilling will assure that they sit perfectly in the CNC machine. So at this point, Malik will do a rough perimeter cut, leaving himself a little room for later on at glue up. Malik has done this for a few years, as you can tell. He makes very smooth cuts. So after bandsaw, he will carry these to the thickness sander for their final pass. Our models have many different specs, but they all go through this machine in the same process. Years ago, we would plane these to final spec, but we found by thickness sanding we have a better surface. So the tops and the backs go through this thickness sanding process for the perfect marriage of the maple and mahogany. It's very important to keep an eye on the specs. It never hurts to keep checking. So right here, Malik is applying a light glaze of Elmer's wood glue to both surfaces, top and the back. And after he does that, Mike will secure them together with brad nails to keep them from slipping apart. So here Mike is loading the press. And in between each guitar are these spacers that act as leveling agents. And they will be pressed down with thousands of pounds of pressure for hours. After several hours in the press, they'll be unloaded, and we'll go back to the bandsaw for a tight perimeter cut, making sure we don't go through the lines. So as you can see, we go from having planks of wood glued together to things looking like guitars now. So now we're moving on to the CNC area. In the CNC area, Jeff is loading up the jigs for the models he's about to cut. He's going to load up two custom 24s and do the back cuts. And he's hammering them in place, making sure they're well seated. And now he'll go to call up the program for the appropriate models. First, it'll start working on the belly carve. Now we'll do the perimeter carve. And it will shave off all the excess left over from the bandsaw. Now we'll work on the trim cavity and the electronics cavity. And finally, it will drill the guide holes for the back plate screws. And now Jeff will clear all the debris off He'll break them free from the CNC jig and take them to his bench where he can write in the work order number and attach the label. And now these are ready for top carve. Now Dave will take these and load them up in the CNC, make sure they're well seated. The airlines will suck them down and hold them in place. And he'll do the top carve. And now we're watching the top carve. Whenever we have tours, this seems to be a favorite. Everybody likes to see how this is done. These will perfectly carve out our violin carve. The cool thing about these machines is they're very consistent and our sanding team gets the same starting point every time. And here it's carving the recesses for the holes and the trim cavity. And here it'll route out the pickup cavities and use a smaller bit to refine the edge. So after the program is run, Dave will remove these from the CNC machine and he will carry him to his bench to do the date stamp and the quality sign off. And all the core and S2 models go through the same quality control process. From this point, it's headed off to the body sanding team. Over at S2 CNC, Joey's gonna load these two guitars up and do the back cars. 
Notice the dual head carver there. You'll notice here we're able to carve two guitars at one time. We've come a long way from our dupla carver days. Because S2 tops have a more streamlined design, we can carve them out in a third of the time that it takes to do a core. I remember when the S2 line started, I thought it was cool that we had a more accessible Maryland-made instrument coming down the line. Once the program is done, Joey will pop these out of the CNC and put them in the appropriate bin. And now these are ready to head off to the body sand team. So that's been a look at our bodybuilding CNC area. If you enjoyed this little tour, be sure to check out our From the Factory Floor videos. Thanks and see you next time. Thank you.